first carry for Christian McCaffrey. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Newton. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target, and it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Well, they're troubled thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Onwasu. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. His throw incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. to throw again. Newton flushed to his right. He's going to take off with it. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Newton on third down. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Patrick Owasor in there to get him for a loss of three and it will be fourth down. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They are going to go for it. It's Newton escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Out on the edge, you love to have cornerbacks like that that can bring them down in the run game. And you're also exposed to everyone. It really becomes a one-on-one -on -one play, doesn't it? You're out there by yourself on the edge. The best ones know how to make the play, and we just saw an example of it right there.
Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. 20. After the run, Newton going to throw. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Now the offense not going anywhere. They're staying out there. They've converted once already on this drive. Here they go again on fourth down. Eight, eight. They will go for it. Now Newton. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Cut, cut, cut. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's going to be a 19-yard loss on the play, and that's going to bring up a second at about a mile here. Set, ready. He took the elbow. Check, 59. Watch the screen. Go, go. Mike 5-9, Mike 5-9. Check pass, check pass. Throwing is Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. On second and a couple. Newton out to his left. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. They'll roll him out right. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. 
Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Ready? Get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. On first and 10, Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Now Newton. Flush to his right. And yeah, he's going to keep it. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had gained. Really good yardage, but that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have no The ball comes out, and this one will kick out of bounds, so they'll hold on to it inside the 10-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. 59, Mike, 59, Mike, check, check, 59. Here's Jackson to throw. And this one complete to Seth Roberts. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. They go screen, this is Ingram. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Mike, Mike, check, check, 59, 59. Oh, you got deep, set up, Mike, 59, Mike, go! To throw again on second down, Jackson. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he got blown up on that play, back at the 20. 
It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Three bird, three bird. 59 is Mike, 59 is Mike. Check, check, 59. Hey, check, check. Whoa. Check 43. Again, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the pickup. From the 36, Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but... Yeah, let's be honest, we're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. After the interception, here's Jackson. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, and his throw is incomplete. James Bradbury, he was right there to break it up. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes, even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Mike, check, check, 59, 59. Let's go, D. Let's go. Mike's 59. Mike's 59. In your face. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Jackson. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. A very good gain on first down. Nine yards on the dump off. On second down now. It's Ingram, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it, and he's brought down. 
The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a little audible to something a little more advantageous. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Jackson, buying time to his left. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Off the edge, Mario Addison gets the sack. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Tucker's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Third and long, it's Newton. And an alley to run. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And the Ravens have got it. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. We just saw another opportunity. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now it's Jackson. He's got it to Ingram, complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and law. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0 our score. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Garner. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football, so I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line.
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. And on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Patrick on Rossor. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you gotta be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. And yeah, this is gonna be caught. He won the fight for the football. Now the Ravens gonna use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. talk about those late in the half scores especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion he said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them yeah they've got the cushion this half has been theirs now tucker to add the pat And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, look your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenge in your See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in corner number two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before the break. Newton, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. A 
And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 at the 9-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. after the catch is that play good for 30 and a first so that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10 from the gun it's Jackson that'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40 23 yards the final tally Jackson by Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Jackson throwing once more. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was Dante Jackson, the one who got a hand in to knock it away. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. On third and one, Jackson. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. <laughs> okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. out there and ready to begin their next drive. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the touchdown Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, 75 yards. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. Remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, 
tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you have green on that play. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The all-pro linebacker Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Jackson throwing again. That's into the hands of the tight end Boyle. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Jackson now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. From the gun, Jackson, he'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw it back deep. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. that gets intercepted. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. Second and 12, Newton forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. They will go for it. Now Newton. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He'll run it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Hey, D-line. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, well, it's got it. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Shift, shift. Jackson on first down. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Nick Boyle 
A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker now to add the point after. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call, so they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. It's our time. It's our time. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And some room to work. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain almost 40 yards here. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. Now a give, right side, McCaffrey. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jalen Ferguson able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Here we go with McCaffrey. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. He's been tough for this defense to handle, over 100 yards. You kind of knew that they were going to him on that play, didn't you? They certainly did. That's one of those situations where you simply say, my best runner over my best blockers, let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't care if they know it on the other side. Here we come, and they got it done. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Second and And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, McCaffrey. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try the air now with Newton. Dan, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Patrick Owasor able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks. And the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Another try after the first down sack. Newton eluding the pressure right. 
He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah. Well, that and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be taken very short. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but. Maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs. To keep up with your theme there, playing keep away, first downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Jackson being chased out left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Jackson throwing on target to Brown. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 43 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll run with McCaffrey. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. A handoff, McCaffrey running right, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. The Panthers on third down, not getting the job done at all. Very poor one for 10. Here it's third and two. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second and two, Newton. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. 
The Panthers on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This time they face a third and two. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. First down, Panthers. Newton on first down. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. That throw good for four. It's second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackler. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him six yards in the first down. This is McCaffrey. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing is Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tomadon Pecco racks up the sack. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coach, you always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Throwing on third and long. Newton. And now here is another interception. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. The interception rose. They just continue to mount. He's thrown it between the ears. I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Here's McCaffrey, and he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards in the Panther first down. This is McCaffrey on the give. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 50, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. So now Cam leads the Panthers up. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big. Ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. 
That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They snap it to Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Matt Judon and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Let's go, D. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Got a man, it's Brown. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good old steam gun. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings exactly. there. Exactly. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going to the head. <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. That's fielded in the end zone. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Five yards will get them back to the original line of scrimmage. But now they're looking at third and ten. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.